Belgium is the chocolate capital of the world and is home to the renowned praline. Nothing can beat the delicious, creamy taste of Belgian chocolate. But how can a country with no cacao plants produce 172,000 tons per year with exports exceeding $3 billion? What is the secret? Belgium has a strict law created in 1884 which states that the minimum level of 35% cocoa must be used to prevent the usage of low-quality fat sources. The secret to their success lies in the ingredients used to make them. That is why production starts in the early stages, which includes overseeing how the cacao beans are planted in the country of origin, the way they are roasted, and which beans are good to use. Hence, Belgian chocolate has acquired an excellent reputation over the centuries because of its fine texture, high content of cacao butter, and the best selection of grains. Belgium has more than 2,000 chocolatiers who have perfected the tradition that dates back more than 100 years. The number is so high because many firms still produce chocolate by hand and have small, independent chocolate outlets which are popular with tourists. Chocolate originated in Latin America and in the early 1600s was brought to Europe by the Spaniards who monopolized its distribution. In 1635, Shortly after reaching Europe, chocolate reached Belgium, which was under Spanish occupation at the time. Chocolate, or more precisely, hot chocolate, gradually became popular in Belgium by the mid-1700s among upper and middle class circles. But the first chocolate company was founded in 1857 by Jean Neuhaus, a Swiss immigrant who opened the first chocolate store in the center of Brussels. In 1912, his grandson, Jean Neuhaus II, invented the praline, which was originally a shell made with covertured chocolate and filled with almond paste. Pralines from Belgium are also known as soft center Belgian chocolates, Belgian chocolate fondants, and chocolate bonbons in English-speaking countries. While the shell has remained pretty much the same as it was 100 years ago, the fillings today are now limited only by the imagination of the chocolatiers. Belgium is also known for its famous truffle, which is made with dark or milk chocolate filled with ganache, buttercream or nut paste. From the late 19th century and the early 20th century, the country was able to import large quantities of cocoa from its African colony, the Belgian Congo, now Ghana. And since then, the industry has been booming exponentially. It started with Neuhaus, which is still today a leading chocolate manufacturer with over 1,500 selling points in 50 countries and all Neuhaus products are still made in Vlesenbeek near Brussels and are exported worldwide. Another prominent chocolatier and probably the most widely known internationally is Kot Dor, which was founded in 1883 by Charles Neuhaus in Schacherbeek near Brussels. It is actually not clear if Charles is a relative of Jean or not. The name Kot Dor, French for Gold Coast, refers to the old name of contemporary Ghana the source of many of the cacao beans used in chocolate manufacturing. The current Kodor logo, which depicts an elephant since it was born in 1906, was borrowed from a Ghana stamp. The famous package Kodor, two chocolate bars in golden white packaging, which still exists, was created in 1911. Godiva was founded in 1926 in Brussels by the Draps family, who opened their first shop in the Grand Palace in Brussels in honor of the legend of Lady Godiva, the legendary countess who had protested high taxes by riding nude through Coventry, England. The first shop outside Belgium was opened in Paris on Rue Saint-Honoré in 1958. Godiva owns and operates more than 600 shops in the United States, Canada, Europe and Asia and is available via over 10,000 speciality retailers. Well, a bonus piece of information for those who are still with us. Chocolate tourism in Belgium is a big industry that varies from one place to another. It could be a visit to a small, local shop that is still making chocolate by hand, or a tour in a large museum factory. They all pretty much do the same thing. Introduce tourists to the process of chocolate making, and most importantly, let them indulge in praline tasting.